Well, uh, welcome to the Jenkins Governance Meeting. Today is July 15th. Uh, we have uh, Alex, Uli Hafner and me on the call. So it's the middle of July and yeah, everything is quite uh, slow these days. Uh, let's take a look at our uh, agenda. So mm, uh, regarding news, uh, one major update that we have uh, Jenkins Code of Conduct upgraded from ROM version uh, of contributor covenant to 1.3 to 1 to 2.0. So it included a lot of changes and here we approved it at the previous governance meeting, but now everything is in place and published on our website. So this is a code of conduct you should refer to. It includes uh, several major changes, including our pledge, our standards, and also some changes in the reporting flow, for example, now, CD Foundation is a second level of escalation. Uh, we also added a line about uh, violation of uh, board members so that uh, there is a pass for reporting that if somebody is concerned. And uh, there will also minor updates here and there. But generally, there was strong consensus about accepting this code of conduct. So hopefully everything uh, is okay now. Alex uh, heavily participated in this story. We also did some reviews. So I don't think there are uh, many questions about that, but yeah. Thanks for doing that, Oleg. Happy to do that. And thanks to all the reviewers because okay, we had something like six reviewers in the main pull request also. A lot of reviewers in the code of conduct change log, changes, etc. So thanks a lot. Any other news uh, which was mentioning? Oh, there is a security release today. So, if you are interested in Jenkins security, we have just released um, a version with a lot of um, XSS changes in the Jenkins core. So you can find it here and uh, yeah. Please take a look because uh, some of these vulnerabilities are high severity ones. So, well, actually, pretty much all of them are high severity ones. So, it's definitely a good time to upgrade. Okay. Um, any other news? No. Okay, so the next topic is terminology updates. Where we stopped at the last meeting, we agreed that uh, we need to select a ton of 10 items. And I guess uh, the agenda for today is to actually agree on these uh, top 10 items and uh, unblock mark uh, this uh, so that we can start voting. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, and I don't, I don't even necessarily think we need 10 specifically. I mean, we talked about mm -hmm. 10, but if there aren't 10 good candidates, Mm -hmm. um, I think we just need to select the number of good candidates. And I, I really like the, um, uh, the recommendation that we kind of look at it um, in terms of like those sentences, like, like Uli mentioned. Um, I think that was helpful uh, to me at least. So um, do you have the, the document um, that we had all of the options in? Or do you want to bring up the email from the governance? Mm -hmm. um, Board. Yeah, just, just a second. So we have a uh, Google Doc uh, with all options. Um, and yeah, if you paste in uh, the discussion from the governance board, I think it would be great. So, uh, okay. So I will just add it to the top. Alex, would you paste the options here? 
Yeah, I'll put them in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I have that document open, so. By the way, I, um, I, someone sent a request to Tyler for an interview about this um, for, I don't remember which website, and I did a little bit of an interview with them about kind of our progress and the reasons and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll, I'll provide that um, article when it comes out. Yeah, I guess it went through press contacts, right? Yeah. I was actually thinking whether it makes sense to just replace uh, these uh, press contacts uh, just by uh, Jenkins governance board email. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a bit out of topic, but yeah, anyway, thanks a lot for doing the interview, Alex. Let's know when it's published. So, yeah, we agreed uh, to use a professional term. Which is easily localizable to other languages. This is our criteria, right? What's that? Sorry. So we agreed that we need a professional term, uh, which could be easily localized to another language, right? Yes. This is basically the criteria we consider. Yeah. And this is kind of the list basically pared down from what we had, what I originally posted in the um, board, governance mm -hmm. board mail, um, removing the ones that were not kind of professional, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So there are only nine items here actually, but these are kind of the ones that were, mm -hmm. um, th the ones that kind of removed anything that had kind of language barrier in terms of um, translating, as well as, things that didn't sound quote unquote professional. And uh, we also removed uh, server and host, right? Because Correct. Them, uh, in the last list. Yeah, so we removed those just because it can be confusing if you say Jenkins server, is that the physical server versus the, um, you know, that sort of thing. So we kind of removed those for that reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have voted for servers still, but <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. So I'm, I'm le myself, I'm leaning towards um, either primary or controller, but that's just my own personal opinion. So I think we can roll these over. If we're in agreement on these set of options, we can roll these over to um, uh, Mark to set up the, um, the public poll. Yeah, so one question about uh, primary. So it's just primary or primary node? Um, just primary. Um, so it will be Jenkins primary. Right. No, okay. okay. I think these terms like primary or main are really hard for other languages. So okay. Because they are more used as adjectives, uh, for instance, in Germany. Yeah, same in other mm -hmm. oh. Okay, oh, but we will see it in the vote, so. I think it's okay to have them here and 
let everybody vote. Yeah, so important thing that we select one of these options. So uh, there would not be option 10, uh, which we select after reviewing the votes. Now, yes, we, d we, did, we did make it kind of, um, well, we, we tried to make it clear that um, mm -hmm. this is just inputs to the governance board. And yep. e even the, the, if, the, if the top voted item, um, it doesn't mean that that necessarily will become the name. Right, it's just yep. inputs. So we, we that that's something to think about too. Is if the top voted item is something that we feel still doesn't um, meet the criteria that we want because of language mm -hmm. uh, translation type things, then we can still pick something else from the list. It's just to kind of get a view of what the community is is thinking or would be um, clear to the community. Yeah, and we use the single transferable vote. So that if option one is not selected, then option two will uh, take adjusted uh, votes anyway. Okay, I think uh, this is a good list and we can just agree on that. Yeah, yeah I'm good with it. Yeah. Okay. We'll just uh, duplicate it there. Okay. So, anything else on terminal job this topic? Not for me, no. Yeah, then I think we could move on. I'll, I'll send that list to Mark, just so he has the information. Okay, thank you. So I guess it means that we would start voting not earlier than next week, because yeah, Mark is off right now, but yeah, I think there is no hurry. Mm -hmm. And we still need to prepare an announcement somewhere. I'm not sure, did we agree to do it in social media on the developer mailing list? I we did not talk about it. Or? Yeah, so oh. we had a discussion uh, at the last meeting, but I don't remember whether we had a consensus there. Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> that we talked about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, so I think it's good to have it on the mailing list. Okay. So yeah, probably both the user and developer mailing list. Mm -hmm. Okay. That way it reaches a wider range of people. I'm not sure that uh, too many people are using are reading the user mailing list. Uh, well, there is a decent amount of reads, but yeah. Okay. Mark. Uh, So basically, user, uh, developer, and maybe some SIG mailing keys. Not sure. But yeah, we can start from that. In any case, if we feel that we want uh, to do more, uh, to have more votes, we can uh, expand uh, the outreach. So no blog and uh, no social media. Okay. So, okay, let's move on. Um, Jenkins CDA have a good evaluation report. So quick updates, we have uh, completed um, the checklist. And um, during the completion, actually, we made significant updates in our documentation. So, for example, uh, the code of conduct was updated, as we already discussed. We also created a new page uh, which lists adopters using the information we have got through Jenkins is the way. And if you want to add your company, please just submit a pull request. Everything is uh, 
uh, configuration is code now, documentation is code, and yeah, there are guidelines which you can follow if you want to add yourself to the list. Um, so what else do we have? We have recommended the weekly releases. Apparently before that we had no documentation for weeklies at all. So there was some subject knowledge and discussions in the mailing list. Uh, but now we have uh, guidelines here, plus uh, there is maintainer guide, which was also slightly updated to document uh, the weekly release process. So, yeah, we got some documentation. And uh, what else? Yeah, basically everything was also referenced from uh, our landing page, which was quite shallow on details before that. So now there is just a bit more information. Um, this, along with uh, our CD aggregation checklist, basically allowed us to say that we are compliant with all the requirements defined by CDF for graduated projects. So if you open this Google Doc reference in the mailing list, you can see that yeah, everything is passed. There are details attached to the right, which expand uh, our response and uh, private information uh, what uh, exactly has passed. Later, we will likely need to convert it to another form. So it's but yeah, the form is yet to be provided by CDF and uh, this form uh, is okay uh, to uh, start uh, the reviews. So if somebody wants uh, to contribute and wants uh, uh, to expand to these descriptions, uh, please just submit a proposal. Uh, you can, everyone can send just changes in this document and uh, we can uh, keep improving it until uh, the CDF uh, technical oversight committee meeting on uh, July 21st. So it's Tuesday next week. This uh, at this meeting there was uh, there will be a review of our application. I'm not sure what would be exactly the process. Uh, my plan is to just join the meeting and answer questions. Maybe present this document a bit. Uh, I'm not sure, Alex, would you do you plan to join? Um, yeah, I would like to. Mm -hmm. It just depends on my my work schedule if I'll be able to. Yeah, so it should be something like uh, 3 p.m. UTC. Okay, it's, uh, I'm, yeah, I should be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Ulyan, what where, about you? Where is, is there a calendar item that I can, that can be downloaded mm -hmm. to add to my I, calendar? Uh, I believe I referenced it somewhere. Okay, in, I'll, I'll look in the email, that's fine. Yeah, so based on the discussion, we sent a message to review and yeah, everyone is welcome to join the meeting. So the meeting guidelines are here. So basically they have, just a second. Uh, yeah, uh, it's on top agenda, I believe. It's on the 21st. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 21st. Yeah. That's uh, my wife's birthday, no time. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a really good uh, reason, so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's CD of talk meeting and here's a link if you want to join. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I guess that's all uh, for CD of graduation. Mm, I think that everything is in pretty good shape there and it helped us to improve our own documentation so we can move on with that. My only concern is about uh, uh, our governance page because yeah, to be honest this governance page is really uh, outdated so I was thinking about uh, partially rewriting it. So for example, just to show a few examples, so our philosophy, yes, it's okay, license is okay, contributor license agreement, it's inherently outdated on its own, uh, but it's a separate problem. Mm. Uh, then uh, what we have, trademark, yeah, trademark is okay, um, the attribution is okay, and then uh, there are some items here, which basically came uh, from my very first generation of uh, Jenkins Wiki, which was uh, also a Jenkins site at that point. And uh, yes, yeah, some changes, uh, some things just need to be updated. Though we update it regularly, but for example, 
if you scroll down, there is reference to RC, no deeper, same for mailing keys. Oh, actually, now the references are the proper link. Uh, also, for example, we reference Wiki, we reference uh, Jenkins on Jenkins without reference and other services, etc., etc. So, in general, it's a generally it's okay, but yeah, uh, some free sleeve uh, would make sense. So this is something I would uh, like to do until uh, the talk meeting next week. But I believe this is uh, the last thing I would be doing uh, for our documentation there. So do we need any special process for updating this uh, page or is it fine to just have a simple majority? I think it's just a quick pull, in a pull request or what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, I don't want to change anything in principle. So rather free sleeve can clean up of the text. Okay. So anything else about the CDF graduation? Uh, one thing which was mentioning tomorrow, we will have advocacy on our 3 sit meeting. And uh, my understanding that we will be discussing uh, marketing uh, for, for Jenkins graduation there because CDF uh, wants uh, to do a lot of promotion on their side. And I guess on the Jenkins side, we would also like to publish a blog post or something like that. So uh, I will add a coordination of these efforts to, to the tomorrow's uh, SIG meeting. So there is a plan to host some webinars, uh, some podcasts, etc. Uh, more details to come soon, but yeah, we will be definitely facilitating it uh, through the mailing list so that we can get more contributors participating in these activities. Okay. Any questions, comments about that? No. Mm -hmm. So for that, I will definitely send a summary uh, because yeah, right now I also don't have uh, all the details uh, of what would be expected, uh, what CDF uh, plans to achieve. So uh, let's just uh, wait and see. Okay. So Core Infrastructure Initiative. So it's uh, slightly related uh, to graduation as well, uh, because uh, it's also part of the graduation requirements, uh, passing uh, Core Infrastructure Initiative checklist. Uh, though, uh, according to clarification by CDF, CDF is fine with our current 80%. So we don't uh, really block it uh, by Core Infrastructure Initiative, but uh, we have uh, two main sections which still need to be finished. One is about uh, quality. So there is uh, we, there are two items. Uh, sorry, it's about quality, about re reporting. So we must acknowledge um, a majority of bug reports. We should respond to majority of RFEs. So this is what we are trying to address with uh, the trash team in Jenkins. And recently we have integrated a pull request. So now if you go to the maintainer guide, uh, now we have document uh, documentation about issue triage and the recommendations of how to do that uh, and how to work with the reporters and what is actually an objective uh, for uh, uh, issue triage team. Uh, but there is still one major problem. We need to have a team. Uh, so likely I will be organizing something to do knowledge transfer or whatever for the next week. Um, or just some discussion. Again, I'm not sure how many contributors you would be able to uh, get there, especially during the summer vacation break. Uh, but you know, 
at least uh, agreed to the Kickstarter with Sephar so that uh, there is some uh, offline content um, available uh, to potential contributors. So this is what we have uh, for issue triage. And uh, the second part we have on the list is security. So for security, we actually have a lot of items to answer. And for that, um, I, I submitted um, a draft uh, to the security team. Then we had a few cycles of reviews. And now it waits for final approval by Daniel, uh, who is a joint security officer. So once it's approved, we can actually close uh, all these action items as completed. At least in my current understanding, we are compliant with uh, all requirements and uh, taking a little bit from the security team, um, it should be a case. So once we do that, once we do the triage team, we will get to, uh, to a bit more than 100%. Uh, then yeah, I believe that we will be able uh, to say that this effort is also completed. And in the future, what it allows us, we can, uh, for example, ask Linux Foundation uh, and the CI members for funding, let's say, security audit for the Jenkins project um, and many other items because CI is a widely fund funded program, which means a lot in security. And yeah, if we can apply, it could be helpful for us. Okay. Anything on that? Do you, um, do you have a list of people who have kind of um, volunteered for that triage team so far? And is it a big uh, enough list or do we need to continue to kind of poke people and ask them if, they're, if they'd like to help? Okay, let's see. Also, we have uh, a number of uh, responses in the mailing list. So, uh, okay. So, uh, there should be my Necro post. Oh, it's here. Uh, so, after that, uh, we got a number of responses. So, uh, me plus five responses there. So theoretically, we could form a, a team if all these five participants could dedicate some time, let's say a few hours per week, well, per month, uh, let's see. Um, but yeah, again, at least we can start documenting that and facilitating contributions by others. And later, if needed, we can also do a lot of automation using RC bot and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, because yeah, we can have canned responses and whatever other tooling to uh, help maintainers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure there was enough people to mm -hmm. help out with the effort. So it looks like that's a pretty good amount and a lot of them have good experience in debugging issues. So it should work. Yeah, right. Yeah. And actually, yeah, just uh, dumped uh, metrics. Um, so uh, even now, even if we take crude metrics for responses for Jenkins score, I created some dashboards, et cetera. And they, you, you can see that over the last year, which is a CI requirement, we have received uh, 491 uh, bug reports in Jenkins score. And for them, uh, we have only, only 214 unresolved issues. And what I was able uh, to see, the majority of these uh, unresolved issues actually got the first response. Though so with uh, our current Jira setup, I cannot uh, automate it and create a dashboard for that. But yeah, even with uh, these crude numbers, we are kind of compliant with uh, the majority requirement in CI because majority is more than 50%, right? Uh, for refis, uh, it's a bit worse. Uh, but yeah, I think we can uh, get here easily. So I'm a bit optimistic there, uh, but yeah, again, uh, it's, uh, it still requires a lot of uh, effort uh, to uh, get it actually working. We got uh, the core maintainer scheme uh, operational uh, this year. So now we have uh, a lot of people who contribute to reviews uh, and integration of pull requests. So maybe you could also do some bits for triage. 
Okay. Does it answer your question, Alex? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you too. Okay. Another process issue. Um, I made an update for the downloads page. Basically, it's a follow-up on the old discussion, I guess, in the platform seek meeting or maybe at the governance meeting. So on um, our current downloads page actually includes um, just a second, it's here. Okay. So uh, our current page includes a long header there, and after that, uh, we have listing of uh, uh, distributions. So there are a few issues on this page. Uh, one issue that uh, this header here again uh, moves all content to the bottom, as well as uh, these paragraphs, etc. Uh, but also, there are some. Uh, more concerning issues. For example, here we have a mix of third party and uh, official packages. And for example, uh, our main official packages were, so what is just in the bottom of the list, Docker is on the top, Windows is on the bottom again. So I would like to actually get these packages sorted. And also I would like to move uh, deployment to Asia to the bottom because deployment to Asia again is not an official package. It's a custom distribution being uh, built by uh, Microsoft Asia team. So um, I submitted a pull request which uh, refactors to this page so that it uh, becomes uh, firstly shorter. And secondly, it uh, aligns pack, uh, pages and it also actually provides some guidelines which we are outdated before. And the deployment, uh, deployment Jenkins in the public cloud is just a section in the bottom. And uh, yeah, right now it includes only deploy to Asia. And later we could add, uh, for example, uh, Google instances, OpenShift instances, uh, or whatever, uh, if we decide to do so. I didn't touch it uh, in this pull request. I just uh, retained the existing content. Uh, but I think that in uh, principle we could extend it. Is the deploy to Azure, does that um, allow you to specify which Jenkins version when you're doing it? Or is it just the, um, uh, like the LTS version or? I guess it's only the LTS version. Okay. That, so I'm that, not logged in, uh, in my Azure account, so I cannot show. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I guess it's on the LTS. And uh, since, uh, and usually these releases are not coordinated. So what it means is that uh, uh, these releases might be delayed, for example, in the case of security releases. I was just wondering because previously the deploy to Azure was directly under the LTS stuff. So it's kind of, um, so you could tell that it was the LTS, but I don't, I don't think that matters. I, I think it's fine the way it is um, because as long as, um, or if there was a way that you could see which version on that um, marketplace page, which we don't probably have control over at all, um, yeah, so that would be this, my only. Yeah, this uh, was basically optimistic because yeah, we don't know. Yeah, okay. So for example, we just released this version a few hours ago and yeah, on, the, on our plugins, on our site, we already said that it's uh, 2.235.2, but I bet it's not really a case. Okay, so I think it's good that it doesn't have a specific version then. So yeah, I like that. Okay, so yeah, basically I just wanted to get approval because it's a sensitive page, which is basically one of the most visited for Jenkins. Uh, so yeah, if you're fine with it, uh, I would uh, like to just uh, ask for approval to merge it. Yeah, so it looks good to me. I think I, I think I gave approval, maybe not. No, you didn't. <sighs> So I yeah, what I will do, I will ask for your reviews. And if you approve that, I will merge it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that it's ready to go and it's not a drastic, but at least some improvement. Also, it was mentioning that uh, this page uh, doesn't really work on mobile. I, I'm not really sure why you would you use it on mobile, but if you do like that, so what you can see there, that basically uh, all the content shifts a bit. So for example, uh, deployed, uh, so you have long term weekly, and then uh, uh, there is a mix of uh, different types here and there. So it's not critical, but 
not ideal as well. Okay. All right, you have my approval on the PR. Great. Okay, and the last, so should we move on? Okay, so yeah, Jenkins roadmap. So for roadmap, uh, last Friday, we had a contributor meetup. Uh, so the video and slides are already available. Basically this meetup I presented uh, uh, the public roadmap and public roadmap process. Uh, I got some additional feedback, uh, but yeah, generally the roadmap remained the same. Uh, so over last few days, I submitted a few patches. So for example, a patch to the Jenkins enhancement proposal and uh, totally for reviewing that. So now Jenkins enhancement proposal is totally aligned with the current roadmap state. Um, just a second, it's here, job 14. But yeah, it's more, it was mostly about updating status definitions and list of statuses and updating how roadmap works because it's, uh, it has greatly changed since uh, the last version. So this job, I think it's formally related to publishing. Uh, well, basically it's Alex uh, who, made, uh, who makes uh, the final decision. Uh, but yeah, personally, I think that uh, it's ready for the final review and approval. Yeah, I agree. Um, so do I just uh, merge it or what is the approval process? I'm, I'm unclear with that. So the approval process is that somebody submits a pull request. So what you need to do, you need to fork this repository, create a branch. And then uh, there is a script uh, in JEP which uh, sets the JEP status. So set the JEP status. And uh, since it's a process JEP, you will need uh, to send the status to active. Okay. Though some JEPs actually use accepted. I'm not 100% sure what's the difference. I need to read the JEP on my own. I mean, JEP one. Uh, but yeah, basically draft needs to be converted to one of these stage, states. Okay. And then you just submit a pull request, uh, use changes and that's it. Okay, I will do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Uli, are you fine uh, with publishing that? Yes, it's good. Mm -hmm. um. Okay. And yeah, another question is actually about common pull requests. So I have a few submitted. So support for archiving roadmap and also some content edits, which are waiting for reviews. So would you like to get it integrated, to get them integrated uh, before uh, we formally accept the job or is it uh, fine to do it, I think? Um, I think they're, it's fine either way. Mm -hmm. So support for archiving basically gives us an opportunity to move uh, old completed roadmap items um, and uh, withdraw ones to a new file, which is archive YAML. Uh, basically it's not displayed uh, in the web interface, it's just linked from the bottom so that if you're interested, you can go there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't think it worth uh, spending time on creating visualization for that. But yeah, if needed, we could do that. Uh, and yeah, actually, that's all it does. Um, and for the rest, uh, yeah, we have um, uh, plugin management PR improvements. It's actually one of feedback from the recent online meetup because I was doing the presentation and somebody said that, hey, one of your items uh, doesn't have a proper link because uh, yeah, plugin management uh, UI improvements had no documentation, so it had no link to there and uh, it was just redirecting to the roadmap itself. So what I did, I just added the definition on the UX seat page and uh, added the link so it's compliant with job 14. But, yeah. And, yeah, another thing, uh, yeah, also follow up to the same feedback is uh, pipe in pipeline altering roadmap. A few items are listed on the future, also have no link. 
So they just extended the code a bit so that if there is no link provided, we just reference uh, initiative link, sorry, a category link, usually it references to a special interest group or, or to something else. At least it helps to narrow down uh, the contacts. So these are three pending pull requests. And yeah, the last one is basically just saying that it's accepted, uh, removing the disclaimers, etc. So this will be merged uh, only uh, after the job is accepted and integrated. Okay. So yeah, sorry for the pull request spam, uh, but yeah. I hope these are the last ones which are required to at least uh, have the roadmap uh, uh, in the ready to go state. And then again, it's not a final uh, state because uh, we will be doing updates incrementally. And uh, I think we could schedule an official roadmap meeting to August. So maybe, or maybe even September, what do you think? Um, I would say September might be good just because August is going to be busy with uh, people going back to school in certain places and stuff and trying to figure that out in terms of kids, at least here in the U.S. Uh, so if we could wait till September, that might be nice. Otherwise, although it may impact people in September as well. So I guess it's whoever has the least amount of impact. <laughs> so I guess it means after August 15th. Because I guess in the United States and Europe, it's mostly August 15th. Yeah, that, that's pretty close to, to ours. We're, our official date is August 5th, but um, so maybe late August or middle of August would be best. Okay. So, yeah. And then we can just uh, discuss uh, the date uh, maybe at the next uh, governance meeting. So, no hurry with it, but. I would also wait a bit before that. And again, we still can uh, facilitate feedback from six, et cetera, to add uh, more roadmap items. So it's actually, it's also already quite full, uh, but yeah, maybe we can highlight more initiatives. For example, um, we will have a presentation uh, at the Cloud Native Seek about the uh, Tikton Trigger plugin. So for example, for cloud platforms, I would like, uh, I would like to split this item to two because there is a Tikton trigger plugin and also a Tikton pipeline engine as a pipeline extension, which we discussed, which is a completely different item with a completely different scope, which will definitely remain in the future. Okay. So, any comments, questions on the roadmap? Oh, it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard a lot of really good comments about it from people. So nice, nice work. And thank you. Thank you too. Uh, let's keep pushing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think uh, that's it uh, for today. So if it's possible, would you be able to stay for a few minutes uh, after the recording? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, mm, yeah. Mm, thanks all for participating in the meeting and see you at the next one. I guess it will be in two weeks, July 29th. So, next changes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks all.